ったんじゃん November 11, just before 9.30 UT, a mysterious rumble rolled around the world. The seismic waves began roughly 15 miles off the shores of Mayotte, a French island sandwiched between Africa and the northern tip of Madagascar. The waves buzzed across Africa, ringing sensors in Zambia, Kenya, and Ethiopia. They traversed vast oceans, humming across Chile, New Zealand, Canada, and even Hawaii nearly 11,000 miles away. These waves didn't just zip by, they rang for more than 20 minutes, and yet, it seems, no human felt them. Kipak saw the curious zigzags and posted images of them to Twitter. That small action kicked off another ripple of sorts, as researchers around the world attempted to suss out the source of the waves. Was it a meteor strike? A submarine volcano eruption? An ancient sea monster rising from the deep? I don't think I've seen anything like it says Garin Ekstrom, a seismologist at Columbia University who specializes in unusual earthquakes. Some energetic anomalies going on really worldwide right now. And there's some things I want to connect with this one and some news I want to share with you. Sharp Edge on Twitter, like this person's page. Now, they noticed 
on the MIMIC satellite data. Now, MIMIC is a satellite that measures microwaves worldwide. So MIMIC stands for Morphed Integrated Microwave Imagery, and it measures the total precipitable water worldwide with microwave frequencies. Now, this MIMIC satellite, every so often, because it works in the microwave bandwidth, it picks up these energetic anomalies that occur, right? And the sharp edge tweeting here on one that occurred yesterday, and you can see with this MIMIC data, you get these weird waves, these weird bands that occur. And it's like some sort of energetic frequency is hitting the whole planet. Like to be uh, waves worldwide, some sort of anomaly again. In You've come up back in the city. You've come up back because I don't want to panic. You've come up back in the city. You've come up back because I don't want to panic. So we had worldwide energetic anomalies occur, like I said, April, December 2016. And then Mimic also picked up some microwave frequencies emitting from Antarctica. Yes, Antarctica. Again, a lot of weird things going on with Antarctica, but this Life science states that something mysterious is coming up and out from the ground of Antarctica, and physicists have no idea what it is exactly. They do know that it's some sort of a cosmic ray. They are listening that a cosmic ray is a high energy particle that blasts its way through space into the earth and then back out again, back into space. However, this does go against the standard model of particle physics. So back in March of 2016, two of these occurrences or cosmic ray burst were detected by NASA's and what looked like to be microwave frequencies emitted from a base somewhere in Antarctica. These frequencies were caught again multiple times, this time in 2017. So we have both worldwide energetic anomalies occurring and then Antarctica anomalies are its cosmic frequencies influencing this Earth. We know there's a lot of changes going on the right now with our cosmos and our sun and our Earth. A lot of different changes. Water that came out of nowhere, nearly sweeping them right off the beach. Nightside's Bo Zimmer shows us what caused this rare wave. Look out! Look out! Oh, it's oh. ah! Beachgoers are sent sprinting, attempting to dodge a massive wave of water seemingly out of nowhere. The wave crashing up onto and through beach cottages on Captiva Island, southwest of Fort Myers. Meteorologists calling this a meteo tsunami because it's caused not by an earthquake, but weather factors like a sudden change in air pressure. It only lasted seconds, but the whole thing is caught on camera.
revelation. This tube can make or break presidents, popes, prime ministers, who is the most awesome goddamn force in the whole godless world. And woe is us if it don't hold in the hands of the wrong people. And when the largest company in the world controls the most awesome goddamn propaganda force in the whole godless world, who knows what shit will be fed over truth on this network. Me, television is not the truth. Television is a goddamn amusement park. Television is a circus, a carnival, a traveling troupe of acrobats, storytellers, dancers, singers, jugglers, sideshow freaks, lion tamers, and football players. We're all you know. You're beginning to believe the illusions we're spinning here. You're beginning to think that the tube is reality and that your own lives are unreal. You, want you do. to think too much. That is why our country and our world has become so proliferated with entertainments, mass media, television shows, amusement parks, drugs, alcohol, and every kind of entertainment to keep the human mind entertained so that you don't get in the way of important people by doing too much thinking. The last thing the men behind the curtain want is a conscious, informed public capable of critical thinking, which is why a continually fraudulent zeitgeist is output via religion, the mass media, and the educational system. They seek to keep you in a distracted, naive bubble, and they are doing a damn good job of it. Koyani Squatsi, a world out of balance, a state of life that calls for another way. If you ever need someone to hold you, I will be there. Thank you for watching and much love to you all.